Remember when you were a kid and there were like late night infomercials and you're like, oh, that'd be so awesome to do that? This isn't that, but you know what? It is. It's 10 o'clock at night and we're doing our first cooking class and we're doing. Oh, oh yeah, my name is Glenn Murray and my wife is going to frog me from behind the camera. Because usually I'm holding the camera and I usually do this on other topics. But this is uh, good food, real fast. And this is the Greek package from Epicure. Uh, we're super excited to actually be Epicure um, reps because we love food and we love cooking and we get to go into uh, people's homes and cook for them and basically uh, show them how, how really good food can be cooked really fast with all the cool things that Epicure Cure has. They're, they used to be known as a dip company, but not anymore. They're like a full-on real food. They're, they're, they're doing a real food revolution, fast food. So we're going to get started. So first things first, cheers. <clears throat> You're allowed to drink on line, aren't you? On YouTube? And, and it, we'll do an 18 plus. All right, so what we're gonna make tonight is we're gonna make um, souvlaki, uh, chicken souvlaki on pita. Where did my pita go? Oh, it's kitchen. Uh, with a Greek salad. So generally, Epicure's foods are, or meals are done in 20 minutes. And that, 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 that time frame is sort of like if you've done some food prep on the weekend, right? So, so you do want to be doing a little bit of food prep on your Saturday or Sunday. So you put it in the fridge so you're, when you're super busy, got your schedule going, you can just go into the fridge and grab what you want. I technically think you can do it in 20 minutes, even with, you know. And, I'll, and as we get better at it, we'll show you. Uh, first things you're, you're going to want to do. If you are prepping, you want to wash all your vegetables first and probably cut them into somewhat, don't get them all cut right away, it's, it's pointless, just, just cut them into big chunks because you're going to have time in between your, as you're prepping your meals to do that work. So just get them cut, get them kind of, kind of loosely done. So we're going to start with the chicken first. So Epicure has this amazing silicone steamer. And I'm going to hold it like this. <laughs> so you can do anything in here from omelets to vegetables to meat, um, popcorn, and it actually makes really good popcorn. We did it at one of our, our cooking, cooking nights. Um, but this is, is, is awesome, and I'm going to show you exactly how we're going to make chicken souvlaki in this in about, in our microwave it's seven minutes, but yours, if you have a higher wattage microwave, it's going to be three to five minutes. Uh, you just have to check the wattage, test it, play around with it a bit. Um, and one of my big concerns when I first learned about this was that when you're microwaving something and you stop it and you want to start it again, you're like, ah, oh, it just it's terrible and it turns to leather. Well, when you cook stuff in uh, the steamer like this, you can actually stop it and check and see how done it is because you don't want to overcook it and then continue cooking it because it's locking in all the moisture. So it's cooking its own sort of juices as opposed to uh, in in glassware where you're going to get hot spots and stuff like that. Silicone works works so much better for plastic, which we don't want to do. Okay, so first things first, we cut up the chicken. Oh, we open our Greek box. Comes with recipes. Right, so this is the this is a kit. This is called the Greek kit. So you get five recipes in it. You also get the Greek spice, the seasoning blend. You get the spinach. Uh, dip seasoning blend, you get the souvlaki seasoning, and this is the awesome one, the lemon dilly, which is amazing. There's so many uses for this one. So we're going to start with the, the one we're going to be using for the chicken is the souvlaki. So we start with, we've got our, um, basically, it's about a pound of chicken. This is going to serve four. So we are thigh people. You can use you can use chicken breast, but we use we use chicken thighs mostly because we like we like that taste of meat. Um, but whatever you want to use, basically cut up into thin pieces, and we're going to put it straight into the steamer. There's no oil, no nothing like that, so we're going to go right into there. We're going to take two bell peppers, and we're going to basically slice them with Epicures. But where where am I going? Right here. Uh, they're ceramic knife, which. If you take care of this baby, it will last years and years and years. One thing, never cut, uh, never cut on glass or extremely hard cutting boards. You want to use something that has a little bit of give to it. Um, we have cutting mats. We also have this awesome 
double-sided, smooth um, cutting board. So basically, we're just going to cut cut the uh, we're just going to slice the peppers. This is so fun. Did you ever want to be a cook in someone's house? It's so cool. So we throw them in right in right in on the chicken. This is what it makes it so fast. You're not thinking about you know, heating up the pan, the oil, all that stuff, and it's much healthier because you're not throwing a whole bunch of unnecessary oil on your food. Epicure is also low sodium. Uh, so, you know, you get to salt to your flavor as opposed to buying a packaged food where it's all full of salt and sodium and preservatives and stuff like that. It's also, uh, what are the other things? Low sugar. It's uh, most of the food, almost all, is all food gluten free? All the food is gluten free. Uh, and there, there is some soy and some other stuff, but they're moving away from soy because exciting, they're gonna be launching in the States. They're a Canadian company right now. They've been around for 22 years and they're launching in the States in uh, August. And if you're seeing this after August of 2019, then they're already launched in the States. But, um, and in the States, soy is considered an allergen. So, are we timing this? We didn't start cereal. So, this knife is like so amazing. It just, just rocks. So that's it. We've got our peppers in here with our, our chicken. We're going to give it a little stir. And then we're going to use... And here, I'm gonna look at the ingredients right here. So, so these these recipes are so simple. It's basically your 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 ingredients and like three step instructions. It's that simple. And that's why the food is so quick and awesome. And it really the secret is all in the seasoning blends that they use. So I'm gonna throw in two tablespoons of souvlaki seasoning. Now this is calling. I'm screwed this up, but it's called the four in one. Effort. scoop and why um, Epicure has this because this scoop will go in every single bottle that they have so it's very very clever one side is a teaspoon one side is a tablespoon so we're gonna go the big side and we're gonna do two of these Boop. one and I'm the cook my wife is the baker and she's like did you measure did you measure Something like that. And then we're just going to mix this around with the chicken, get it all mixed around like that. I, I was watching an older recipe version of theirs and they had put lemon in and I think now they've included uh, lemon in the seasoning mix. So it's pretty much done. You don't have to worry about messing around with any other stuff. So there we've got it pretty well mixed up. Like that. I'm gonna put this lid on. Remember, raw chicken, so this is gonna go straight into the sink. Now I'm gonna go into the kitchen and I'll be right back. I'm gonna pop this into the microwave and then we'll continue on. So next, what goes with the souvlaki is a tzatziki dip, which is shredded cucumber. And what we're going to do is we're going to put this into a, into just a, uh, a tea towel or whatever. And we're going to wring the water out of it. So I'll do that right here. Let's this bowl here. And just get that water out. If you have cheesecloth, you can use use a cheesecloth or a napkin, whatever you have. I just want to get all that water out. Get this out, and then we're gonna throw this back in here. There we go. And I just used a regular size grater. 
that, and then we need uh, two, I think it is one cup of Greek yogurt. This is where I do the measuring, you know, like the cook does, so. That's a quarter cup, it's a half cup, and that's about the cup right there. And then we're going to add one tablespoon of the lemon dilly. Right there. Then pop over to the four in one. It smells so good. I don't know if, you, if you've ever had Greek food when you're barbecuing and then you're like, oh, we forgot the tzatziki. Oh no. This is super fast. So, and there it's done. And that's going to be for our, for our, um, Okay, the next thing is, this is called the, <laughs> the curette. And this is for, uh, our, for mixing all the salad dressings, because Epicure has a ton of salad dressings. And what's great about it is that you don't have to have buy store-bought and then have, like we throw out half open salad dressing bottles all the time. So this is you make what you need at the time, and you can really do portion control. So we're going to go, it's one part red wine vinegar to uh, th three parts oil. And the recipe, of course, is here. So we're going to start out with the, yeah, three tablespoons of olive oil and one tablespoon of red wine vinegar and half a tablespoon of the Greek dressing mix. So I'm going to use, if you get the cruet, make sure you get the funnel because it makes it very, very, a lot easier. And we're going to do half a teaspoon, half a tablespoon of the Greek dressing mix. tablespoon red wine vinegar and three tablespoons of olive oil. One. And you know what, once you've done this a couple times you'll just be able to eyeball it and you'll be a pro at it. There you go. Have it, and then oh, should I bring the lid in? Did we lose it? So, let me just grab the lid. So the great thing on all the dressing mixes like this is that there's always, did you show the recipe? There's always recipes on the side. If you want to zoom in on that. So you'll never be lost for what you're going to use it for. So this is this. And that seems like, is that going to be enough for four? I guess so, yeah, a tablespoon of dressing for, for serving, makes sense. Okay, so, the uh, the Greek salad we're going to jump into. So, two cucumbers, two English cukes. One is prepped here. This is number two. And I just, just cut them, roughly cut them, you know, you can... This knife makes it very easy. If you're more used to a chef's knife, you know, by all means, I, I like a chef's knife. I also have no problem 
And remember, all these are, are we washed the vegetables before we started, right? So you wanna make sure you wash everything first. That way you know that what you're grabbing for is nice and clean. And then one more half of cucumber. How are we doing for time? Oh, 842. Plus six. What's that? Plus six. Plus six? That was all my gabbing though. You wouldn't be talking and having your wife filming you or having your spouse film, film you while you're doing this. And like I said, um, once you've done this a few times, you're really not going to need the card. You're just going to have it in your head because it'll be, you know, your, one of your go-to meals. And that's why these kits are so great. They're so popular. They say, oh, it sounds like the, the souvlaki's done already. So that's fine. Uh, they say the average North American family eats the same seven meals. Isn't that crazy? Seven meals. We just do the same thing. So we have the cucumbers in there. Uh, next we have chopped cucumbers, peppers, and onion. I've already chopped my onion before, just because it was only half an onion. So I'm going to cut these into, uh, like, you know, good bite size, one inch bites kind of thing. Do you have any questions? No? Do we have anyone on? Is anyone on? Is, is, is anyone saying, hey, what are you doing? You're crazy. This is our late night infomercial. It's so great. I'm, uh, what was the guy's name who had the set it and forget it? This is the, uh, the set it. Don't go avoiding doing copyright infringement. <laughs> uh, so anyway, so we've got we've got our Greek salad almost done here. Like I've never made a Greek salad this fast. It's so amazing because you're always um, well, you're always trying to experiment with the right dressing and you're fooling around with the dressing and all that kind of thing, which is the, the which is the main hard thing, right? Um, and this just makes it so easy, and and you know that you're not running out to the store and you're buying something that's full of this crap, you don't know what's in it, right? And even though there's a lot of healthier choices out there, uh, if you look on Epicure's site, you can see that they have the, the never list, the, the never things, or the things that will never be found in Epicure. And it's pretty extensive and amazing. It's very, very cool. Uh, we're gonna pop in, a, it says a pint of cherry tomatoes, just cut in half. So we'll grab those and throw those in. Uh, quick slice. This is looking good. Look at that. It's funny, we have a friend that has a, a world famous Greek salad. <laughs> it's world famous because we videotaped him making it one time. So. Okay, there's the uh, tomatoes. We're going to throw the onions in. We're gonna throw some crushed feta in. And uh, it says for half a cup of olives, but we like olives, so we'll put like a few, few extra ones in there. Now this is, what's that? Is that too many olives? It's really good. So this is the, um, so these utensils, like you've seen, all this stuff is made from uh, silicone. So it's non-stick, everything just slides off, it's amazing. And they're oven safe up to 450 degrees, 425 degrees. So they're pretty indestructible things. Uh, so you definitely want to have, and that's what the, the tongs basically as well. We're gonna put the dressing on. And I'm just gonna give it a good toss. Now, all, all we need to do is serve this into some bowls. Uh, I 
that's it, don't oh we need a pita. Oh we need the, we need the souvlaki. Alright, let me grab the um So the one thing about silicone to cook in, it is kind of, it's flexible. So when you have any liquid in there, you want to be careful that you're not spilling the liquid out. Alright, um, like I said about this board, what's great about it? What's that? It's double sided, so I'm just gonna grab these and cut them in half. Big, beautiful. Okay, so here's the. Ta-da! Grab this. And. Alright. Give it a little stir. And you can, if you want to, you know, put a little salt and pepper on this, that's totally fine because it is uh, low in sodium. And we're going to take our, our dip. Put a little on. Like this. We'll grab our some chicken and some peppers. Fifteen minutes and twelve seconds. Oh, Plus that's six. Yeah. Plus six. Plus six minutes. Was that me chat ch chatting? Oh, all right. Twenty-one, twenty-two minutes. Not bad though. Not bad. Oops. Need some sauce on. Basically, uh, it's funny because Anne and I actually haven't eaten tonight. We actually made this for the kids earlier and uh, we basically, oh I cut these in half. Oh well. So I'm gonna put this like this. Falls out of my, my thing. Alright. And we are done. So check out, this is gonna be the first video, because I think it's funny, for our channel. <laughs> our, our, what are we, what's, what's our website called? What, what, what did we call it? We just set up the website. <laughs> real food, real. Real good food fast. That's what it is. Realgoodfoodfast.com. <laughs> That's what our YouTube channel is gonna be. I hope you enjoyed this. Check it out. Message us if you're um, if you're interested in in doing something. Going into my wife is laughing at me. If you're interested in going into people's homes and cooking for them and showing them how to do, make great, healthy, amazing food uh, for, oh, and price-wise, it's only about a few dollars a meal. So it's not like it's super expensive or anything like that. It's just, it's, it's amazing to have good fast food, cheaper than McDonald's, cheaper than Burger King or anything like that. And you get to eat this amazing food and it's done in 22 minutes. Not bad. So I, here's my bite. Mmm. Mmm. Good stuff. So enjoy, and we'll see you on the next one. Uh, are we doing Mexican? Tequila. <laughs> Bye now. Eat this. <laughs>